you ever just get tired and want to take a nap? <laughs> and then you're wondering, well, I didn't track the nap. How do I know how long I slept? How good was my nap? Enter the Amazifit T-Rex 2 and the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. Notice the screens don't turn on because I just disabled them. Let me show you how quickly that is to do. All I did is click, swipe down, and then I click those two buttons, do not disturb, and I click the movie mode. And then on Garmin, long press off the watch face, and you just click that little moon thing. I'm gonna play some raindrop background stuff and We'll see. I'm not going to set a timer, but I usually nap for 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, see you on the other side. Wasn't that time-lapse fun of me napping? Um, yeah, I, for a second there, I, well for many seconds, I didn't think I was actually napping and then that was almost an hour, so. <sighs> Let's get to the studio and check out the stats. Hey Paramount Kid. What, what, what did I miss while sleeping? Did this watch detect my nap? I was wearing this one while I took a nap and the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. So which one detected the naps and what what's that all about? Let's take a look. Now the good news is if it didn't work, well, at least I got a nap in. So scroll, 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 heart rate, sleep. Okay, sleep score 92, doesn't show any naps. Workout history, heart rate, stress, sleep. Sleep phases, view in the mobile app. Okay, 
Let's try Garmin. Sleep. No nap. Not enough REM. Thanks, Garmin. You've slept long enough, but your amount of REM sleep was too low. Creativity and problem solving may be challenging today. So that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> and then the rings, well, they don't have displays. Slight change on the audio because I had to switch from this little connection to the white connect. Anyway, so I was filming on the Z Flip 3. Now I'm on the iPhone. Uh, I'm still waking up. <laughs> the iPhone 12. Give my skin a rest. And yes. I was, I slept with this on my ankle. Let's take this off. Let's, let's see, did Apple Watch detect a nap here? Do, 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 do. Uh, wake up, full schedule, eight hours and nine minutes. 92, six hours and 55 minutes this morning. Short naps, yes. 39 minutes. Today is June 7th. Check. Deep sleep, none. Light sleep, 39. Portion of light sleep, 100%. Well, meditation, 1622 to 1700. I'll take it. Taking a 20 minute nap every afternoon can help to mitigate fatigue coming from the day's work and keep you focused. Minimum time for nap should be recorded is about 20. Okay. Minimum time for a nap to be recorded is about 20 minutes. Gotcha. And then if we go back in time, I actually had a nice nap on, what was that, Saturday, June 5th? Scroll on down. So I slept eight hours and 31 minutes that night. And then if you scroll all the way down here, where'd it go? Ah, short naps. One hour and 39 minutes. I really zonked out. Only 16 minutes of uh, deep sleep, fell asleep on the couch, it was awesome. And there's my napping record. So pretty cool. So to answer the question, yes, the T-Rex 2 does detect naps. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up on the watch. Hopefully they could, that, that could be easily fixed with a, a software upgrade. But the fact that it recorded it, great. I like that it dissects it and, and tells you, oh, that was light sleep deep sleep. If you're a really, really good napper, it'll say that you got REM and yeah. Whereas the Venue 2 Plus does not track naps. And then they have this other one, this thousand dollar watch. This is the Garmin Phoenix 7X. This one does not detect naps. The Apple Watch, yes, it tracks naps. The Oura Rings, yes, they track naps. Just for fun, we'll uh, just look at that. Okay, so that's gonna quickly synchronize. And then it updates. Here, we're getting a lot of glare off the window. So the app will talk, and there it is, confirm. Nap detected, so I went for a sleep score of 88, 89 to 92, readiness to 95. And then you can show the details, all that cool stuff. And you would go to the sleep section. It shows um, the nap, sleep efficiency. And then I can go back to my um, time of sleep or go back to the home screen, scroll down, there's my nap and I can see that. So it says deep sleep 13 minutes. So kind of arguing or disagreeing with the Amazafit. And out of the three rings I was wearing, it was the one on my middle finger, this 3.0. So pretty snug, not so snug that my finger is suffocating. This one's a little too, yeah, anyway. So far, so good when it comes to sleep analysis and this Amazafit. It seems to be in sync with everything else that my body is telling me. Love that it tracks naps. One of my huge pet peeves, and it's on my laundry list for Garmin to fix. I, I still can't believe they don't track naps. Years ago, they kind of had this hidden feature where you could click on the moon and do it, and then they stopped doing it. And then they spent all that money and bought a company that was in charge of their sleep analysis, but then it's they're still not tracking. 
Garmin Fix It T Rex for a hundred dollars less in the Venue 2 Plus. You can record naps. The GPS is still pretty decent, and I Garmin has a target on their back, if that is for certain. But that's my little video. Hope you liked it. Uh, let me know uh, if that was weird, the time lapse. I just wanted to prove that I was sleeping, and I've never recorded myself sleeping before because I haven't had a GoPro or something that would could just quickly do it. And, you, you know, setting up a tripod and... Well, it, this that's just too much work. The GoPro has the quick little stand thing, and it just worked so so here it is just charging so it just has this nice little stand and and you can just click that right on your nightstand and click two buttons and boom it's recording right now at auto upla auto completed up automatically updated and uh, uploaded to the cloud so that's gonna kind of cool feature while it charges and then I just like the little stand. I'm going to continue sleeping with the Amazfit and Garmin and Apple and Aura and Samsung and Fitbit and I'll do some more analysis and give you a nice little two or three weeks later. Right now I'm on day five or six with the Amazfit but I had the GTS 3 for almost a month. Thanks for watching. Piffy comments, type those down below and because my son always asks me uh, no, this was not a sponsored video, Paramount Kid. And yes, let the credits roll for TPK. I'll see you around soon, and let me know if you have any other video ideas about this. Dinosaur version 2.0. See you on the flip side. Goodbye. Thanks for staying tuned till the end. Battery life on the Mazafit T-Rex 2, five days later, actually almost exactly five because I unboxed it around five o'clock, had to wait for the day job to finish, and the battery life is down to 21%, if you can read that. Here, let me swipe down, there we go, 21. That's really good. Let me quickly add up all the GPS and we can see what we've done in five days. And here's the kicker. 
it's been using AOD the entire time. There was uh, too much data. <laughs> That's just going to take too long, and I'm tired. But if you like and subscribe, you'll see that later, probably on day, later in June, for sure. Thanks.